Hey everybody, um, what you're about to watch is what is called a animatic um, for my short um, combat fairies in peer pressure. Um, an animatic is um, uh, one of the earlier stages of production for, for animation. They use it in live action as well, <coughs> um, but they, they use it all the time in animation. Um, and it's to kind of just plan everything out visually. You kind of, you're, you're drawing all your plans, you're deciding what your shots are gonna look like. Um, but you're also making a video out of those early sketches so that you can get a sense of the timing. And uh, that way you're doing a lot of your editing before you go to any effort to animate anything. And the main idea there is you don't want to waste time animating something that's going to get thrown out, right? Because who wants that? Um, so uh, this, um, if you haven't seen the actual short yet, the finished short, um, I would just say pause this, check that out first. Um, I also have a commentary video um, where I kind of talk a bit throughout the, the video as well. You can also check that out if you want to too. Um, but uh, this comes, in the case of Combat Fairies, the designs were already done, it was based on a comic book. I had some other sketches for this, some of the new villains and things like that. Um, the storyboard, because I was the only animator working on it, I didn't have to worry about showing everybody else what I wanted, facial expressions look like and things like that. I could take a lot of liberties and kind of use my own shorthand. So you'll notice that the, almost none of the characters ever have any detail on them. Um, the only uh, exception on occasion, I think, is some of the villains because they were kind of new and I had to think about horns and stuff like that. Um, but I color-coded the, the fairies themselves, so they're, um, there's no detail to distinguish them from one another, but, um, but you know, Ayla with her blue hair is drawn with blue color and things like that. Um, and uh, once I had it all sorted out, drawn and put together in the animatic, then I, I moved on from there. The, the actual short has a lot of comic book panels, which you're not gonna see in the animatic because I had the idea to do the comic panels right from the beginning, and for some reason, just didn't think to do it <laughs> when I was storyboarding. So I ended up making up a lot of those inset panels as I went. Um, so, uh, so, so check it out and see, uh, see how it evolved from, from this to that finished uh, peer presser short featuring um, Combat Fairies. And also, Combat Fairies started as a comic book. Um, this short is really a prequel to um, the Combat Fairies comic that I just thought would be a fun thing to do after spending so much time drawing the comic book. So if you check out the uh, in the description below, you're gonna see a link to the Kickstarter campaign where you can actually buy the complete 12 chapter Combat Fairies graphic novel. Um, and, uh, and there's a lot of other stuff in there as well. There's some there's some cheaper stuff if you wanna, if you wanna help out, but you can't, uh, you can't drop the full amount for the book or if you uh, if, if if you've got the the deep pockets and there's more stuff that interests you there's more stuff on there to check out as well so um, so watch the video check out the Kickstarter and uh, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 